Delicious. This is so good. <laughs> the sweetness that is here. Hmm. Bwe. See what you do. Delicious. Delicious. So, hmm? Very sweet, very sweet, very sweet, very healthy. If you stick around so that I show you what I did to get to this feeling. So we had this juice and this. Wondering how we got here? Well, so this is ugali, managu, and chicken. You can call that uh, the black nightshade in English. Uh, but before you cook that, you know, we have to do some dishes. It's very important to cook in a clean kitchen. So that is what we're going to have to do first. So at this point you're making some ugali, of course you need to bring the water to boil. I choose to add some margarine, um, you can add butter, you can add uh, milk, but do not overdo the ugali even if I know the, most of us find it completely flat. Um, this is not an easy job, I'm telling you. Um, I was making ugali for four people, so um, ilikuwa kibarua na kwambia. Kibarua. Hapo sinuona venye like I'm biting my lip. Hey, hey, hey. Kama si kusweat, si watch it too. Hey, imagine you're still doing the ugali. You're still doing it. You're still doing it. And then Ebu, Ebu explained to me, wasi, niyaji watu weka uchumbi kwa ugali, by the way. Why do people do that? As in, do you do that? How do you do that? How do you find the ugali tasty with salt? Because I can't. So at this time, we are preparing the managu. Um, please remember to wash your managus after buying them, it's very important. Alafo, I made a mistake. Uh, ufai ku tole hapo kwa leave, like get to the stock, yeah? And, and then um, have it. I do not really know why, but I know it's better when it's like that, when it's just um, not all leaves. So, kutoa moja moja hadi tukamaliza. Hey, and then remember to buy enough of the managos uh, because managu can embarrass you big time. Like, because there won't be enough. Angalia when you wanna shika and then buy enough of them. Mama uchuna enough of them kama una unazo kwa garden. So here it's um, off to the boiling pot. Um, we are going to have to boil this for about 30 minutes to one hour. Um, Joseve Vizuri, you know. Ata toko to make sana. So, nikashika matchbox na maji, kuwasha ndiyo iyo, ngori, ngori, ngori. Ma, 
Uh, finally, I managed to wipe my hands to get them dry and get another matchbox because the other one was already so wet. And um, here, my one of them is going to boil, and we'll be doing something else this time. For some juice, to make the fire, some mint for some juice. So, we're going to make a portion in tea for Vizuri, and then I'm up for still running water. Vizuri, Kapsa, uh, I love for Pumbuke to not all moja moja. I seriously thought uh, this was harder than doing and doing the manabo something. She did go and eat him and even look on the chance of a talk about uh, Nita Sam. So let's um, clean our, let's clean or wash our mangoes because we need to blend them. Then we need to slice and dice them. And of course, you know, Pazima to on the seed because we're not going to blend the seed and we're definitely not going to throw away the seed and eat it. Um, yep. I love the note me. Partly. Okay, so here goes the pineapple. Uh, we have to peel it off, of course. Um, I cut it into small pieces. Yeah, yeah, and we need the melon too. Um, it was already cut just to get the red part. By the way, how do you know a melon is good before you can buy it in the market? Because this was definitely, definitely good. So I mix it together with the pineapple and um, these were all the ingredients for the juice, the mint and everything else there. So after blending the meat, we go on with the other ingredients and do the same continuously until it's like really fine, you know, no coarse. Our juice is ready and ready to be sieved. Um, I used a big sieve for this, it really helped out. Um, and then we put this in a bottle in order to be able to freeze it for some few minutes before we could have our dinner, which we did. And um, of course, on to the tomatoes and um, the bell peppers. If you have not tried the yellow and the red bell peppers, please try that. I was plugged into this by my cousin, and I'm telling you, I'm loving it, really. So I have not told you. I'll be blending tomatoes. Um, I'm really looking for some thick um, paste for my chicken. Because it will not be so dry, I have some broth in it to eat the ugali, and um, of course for the managu. Also, it is going to save me a lot of time um, when I come to cook the managu. Not cook anything literally between the managu and the chicken. It will save me a lot of time because I won't have to wait for the tomatoes to be ready, you know. So on to dicing and slicing the bell peppers. Alafu otunguyas, my people, very important, very important for the otunguyas, eh? Um, in this sequel coming to sana, because um, I don't know why. Um, I'll just wait for it to kind of start browning and then we take a uh, garlic. This is a garlic. 
um and then you take a nyama um, this is chicken it was already prepared cut into pieces by the butcher it was bought from the cousin we thought that this was like a very small piece for 480 like in the whole chicken here for 80 i don't believe this it's unbelievable so that is cooking just look at that look at that look at that um some ginger here very important um this the pot for think they will cook a fridge peer i also wanted to remember that they put some chili in it uh, it's very important for the spices to go inside now it's drying, really turning brown. Just look at that. So that's why we go in with our tomato paste and um, pour it in there. Najua looks are deceiving. Like any usi usi lose usi lose ho palafu lazima baby kazi na ngeonza kamoza pale. Unfortunately, um aliulizi when it was too late, like angeulize ikiwa dry. Then we have to go in with some royco to thicken the the gadufus. So that is beef royco sachet and then there is a I don't know, onion and tomato. Uh, mix that in a bowl to avoid like we can kwa kuku i kwe kupate una umaroiko. You get it? Already in a thicken. The process is giving. Um, don't be deceived. Kwanza I boiled the roiko kwanza I kachemka vizuri and then I was now I came to add the bell peppers because that is the sun at the end of the day. I mean, I love them crunchy, you know? <laughs> Who doesn't? I told you to trust the process, didn't I? <laughs> See, watch it, watch it, watch it. Good, relax. To to funi ke ke do go to for a minute. I love to take you to do. Just look at that. So he ni kitu ya manago tunataka mafuta kidogo and then we keep it cooking for a little while um just in case you're wondering this doesn't have to like brown in we could just to cook too then we add the remaining of the tomato paste pia nyewe it cooks too for a while eh? just just for a while I don't know how much it is. It's Rico Cube slap in greens. Managu is not an exception, of course. Now some Rico there. Um, I think it's quite Rico green, yeah. Um, then in go the goes the managu. There is a table to the korogi kidogo. Then guys, I think we're ready. So let's set the table. Ugali pale. Um, coming in with some chicken. Alafu managu. There we go. I'm not the way that to get in a kaime but like it just looks ready. The chicken is there. I'm sorry about the lighting, yeah. There were shadows in between. Uh was bubbly on the other side of the table. So let's serve. It's four people, you're likely to see two plates, but don't worry. <laughs> the other two be our cooler, yeah. So we served. Um, na tukatarimisha na kaleka juo. Goodbye guys. See you in my next video. Alafu subscribe.